Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I am going to share a short case study on a property that we have had some tremendous results with. And we're going to spend some time uh, over the next few minutes kind of describing to you what that looks like. This happens to be a property in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, 65 units called the Vintage Apartments on Route 66. Uh, I have to show the disclosure a little bit. You know, I'm not an attorney. I'm not an accountant. I'm only giving, I'm not giving legal advice or accounting advice. I'm just uh, giving you educational advice so that you can see how a multifamily opportunity works. I'm going to cover uh, some investment overview, the management team. I'm going to talk to you about the market a little bit. I'm going to talk to you about the property overview and the return that we have seen so far. Uh, as far as the investment overview goes, um, we bought a 65 unit multifamily distressed opportunity built in 1963. We assumed uh, debt at 3.99%, which is much lower than what average debt is in the marketplace today. We also got the seller to carry a second mortgage of a million dollars. Uh, with no interest and no payments for 10 years. Uh, the purchase price on the property was $3.1 million. And we um, have really started to turn it around. When we bought the property, the property was 60% occupied. Uh, it had a lot of deferred maintenance. The owner had run out of money. It's a class C asset. Uh, our plan was to go in, put 500,000 in capital improvements into the property. We bought the property for about $55,000, $56,000 per door. It's on the east side of Tulsa, which is really a robust market. Our goal was to hold the property four to five years, uh, knowing that the next buyer would assume that that low rate debt. Our management team, um, I'm Mike Morawski. I've had over 30 years of real estate experience, residential sales, multifamily construction. My partner, Rochelle McCoy and Kim Henry, uh, between the two of them have over 20 years of real estate uh, experience, residential and commercial. We, uh, our experience really counts. Here's a number of properties that we are either currently working on or have turned around at this point and cycled out of. But we're gonna talk a couple, little bit about market details right now. Uh, Tulsa, population of over a million. I'm a market-driven investor and really like to invest in markets that make sense. What we have found is that in Tulsa, the employment diversification is really important. We have a number of employers in that market. There's aerodynamics, medical, manufacturing, entertainment, retail, distribution, and technology. The government just deployed $3.1 billion into the market, into the airport there for international expansion. We went on and American Airlines, where they have their largest repair hub in the U.S. is in Tulsa. They're hiring 300 people this year. There's a brand new electric car manufacturer called Canoe. Canoe is building their international headquarters in Tulsa. Tulsa had a tech program, a work from home tech program running two years ago where they were hiring or are paying tech workers $10,000 to move to Tulsa and work from home. And they had over 1,500 people move to Tulsa after they ran out of money. They just reinitiated that program in March of this year. The population growth has been strong and steady. The job growth, strong and steady. And the household income continues to grow. In the submarket we're in, the household income is $43,000 a year. My rents will not even get to a point that are going to ab absolutely have us tap into that. Now, I've said for over a year that Tulsa is a market to be in. It's emerging. And once the smart money finds out about Tulsa and they start coming there, uh, it's going to really ex cause the market to explode. And I'm happy with news today that a couple of my peers in the business who are with large syndication companies 
it's high on their list of top 10 this year to be looking at the Tulsa market. Let's get into some property overviews. When I bought this property, it was really a lot of deferred maintenance. We put a new roof on this property, new balconies. We put a parking lot on the north side of the building in. Our new sign just went up this week. Um, you can see anything in those pictures that's in teal has been painted to black, new roof put on really have changed the curb appeal of the property. As far as interior maintenance goes, we have gone in, we've rehabbed 14 of the 23 down units, put those back online, started to drive rents in those. We've done a lot of minor maintenance, leak repairs, upgraded furnaces, windows, laundry room back online, and really have this property starting to operate well. One of the big things you'll be interested to know is we've taken the occupancy over a five month period from 60% occupied to 74% occupied as of this week. Let's look at some of the return details. So at acquisition, the total revenue was $292,000. Our expenses were 280,000. Our operating income at that point was 12,370. Uh, dollars that was not enough for us to be able to go get debt on this property so we put a creative structure into place in order to to take this property over re-engineer it so that we could go back in and do a refinance it at a point later on this property but today what we have done based on a t3 that's the trailing three months financials, we have increased the revenue to $414,000 annually. We've cut our expenses, even with the increase in occupancy and the increase in revenue down to $203,000, which leaves us at an operating income of $210,000, and that's at 73% occupied. When we went in, our average in-place rents were $625. Today, they're at $878, with our original projections being at $773. So you can see we've really started to move the needle on this property. If you have interest in passively investing and you're looking at other opportunities we have in Tulsa, we have proven out the model on this particular property. What we have implemented here, we're going to continue to implement in our other assets in Tulsa. They're all similar. The returns are similar. If you have interest, reach out to the person who shared this video with you, and we'd love to uh, talk with you soon about the opportunity.